And next we have the library and Amanda. Page 51. How are you this evening? Well, I'm doing okay, but I lost my tonsils last week, so I sound a little bit odd. Oh. Wow. And so she wasn't able to catch that there was a mistake, oh. so it's been corrected here. Did you eat a lot of ice cream? I did not. <laughs> no, I would. <laughs> Those things, they say, you know, you can eat as much as you want, but they don't tell you you're not going to want any. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I hope it went well. I'd opt for the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> you can open up for us, uh, Amanda. Great. Um, my goal for the budget this year was to bring in a, um, a, a no e increase budget. We had, I knew coming into this year that we had a larger amount allotted for health insurance than we were going to need it just based on what, what you predict and then what you actually need. And so my hope was to use whatever was there, whatever amount over to augment the budget in any way that I needed for 2016 without asking for any additional dollars. Um, with the exception of, I think that I must have miscalculated retirement, which the women in finance caught for me. So my plan was zero dollars, but it is three hundred twenty-three dollars more than this year because of that mistake. Um, I can give you the rough strokes of where the changes are if you'd like to know. Um, as I said, that health insurance line was the spot where we had more budgeted this year than we needed. From that amount, we are hoping to um, create a merit pool for raises in the future. We have done away with our STEP program. We used to have a salary program that advanced year by year. Um, steps were two and a half percent. So this year, um, for, for 2016, the trustees would like to create a merit pool. Um, the amount that's in there now would work out to about two and a quarter percent increase if it was applied equally across all positions. That's 20 employees in my library. Um, and the, everything else is much smaller. Um, we're hoping to add a few hours to the front desk, continuing that effort um, I mentioned last year of getting um, double coverage during most of the day. There's also um, a line called sick leave vacation. We've cut that in the past, just you know, chipping away at it, hoping that we can balance a budget. We cut too far, and we really are suffering from that. We're needing to you know, cover desks with, um, we have substitutes, and we just haven't had enough money for that lately, so we would like to increase that a little bit. And then within the area that I call the operating budget, I think, I'm trying to put it labeled on your budget, the appropriation, I think. Um, we've done some shifts internally. The periodicals, reference books, and online subscriptions have both decreased about 2,000 each. We're not cutting magazines or reference books or subscriptions. We were able to negotiate with vendors or find a different way to meet those needs of the patrons. Oh, yeah. A lot of that money is going in, so... Um, reference books that, you know, a giant tome that sits on a shelf and only one person uses at a time is now going into the nonfiction collection. So a lot less come and consult it at the library and a lot more borrow it from the library kind of book. So it's really just a shift. It's not a major difference. Hmm. And as I say, the overall change is $323, but I'd be happy to answer questions. Mr. Bridal. Do you see it, as, as we move forward, do you see a change in going to the, um, the books online and stuff? I mean, that's as we move forward, um, and how are you addressing that in, in your building? So, uh, just start with the idea, the, the <clears throat> entire state of New Hampshire is a part of a consortia that um, is run through a company called Overdrive, and so we all provide both audiobooks and e-books through a downloadable service. And we pay a small contribution, really, when you consider the amount of books and, that can be borrowed. Um, so you've got patrons now in Hampton who maybe don't come through our doors, but that use our service. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the building is concerned, when I think about how it may grow or how it may change, I know I'm not adding any new stacks. I'm not going to be adding more books in the future. Though, honestly, <laughs> we're see still seeing really healthy circulation, and that's countrywide. People aren't seeing this mad um, fleeing of books of, and back and into the e-service. It's still pretty decent um, circulation. We've got a collection of, and I'm going to use round numbers, um, 70,000 physical objects. They circulate 100,000 times a year. So everything is, you know, and that's in a perfect world, everything's going out at least once and some things are going out twice, <laughs> right? And that's the, not the truth, but, but, but for right. number-wise, it right. looks like it. So um, continuing to look at our membership with, with this online group 
overdrive, making sure that we're providing people with the service that they can get to online. Um, I think the future for that is trying to figure out, it's an interesting thing where we're licensing those items rather than owning those items. And so every library is trying to figure out that dance because, you know, um, Hachette can change their license and then suddenly we don't have those books anymore, things like that. And so there is still that desire to have a physical copy of the book for when the license is changed, which has happened several times. Um, but just in my thinking going forward for the building is just knowing that we're looking at community space, gathering space, and, and probably not looking at book space in the future. Okay, thank you. Mrs. Walsley. You're at the mercy of technology. You're still saving, you're still comfortable with what you're saving on electricity? Yes, yep, that's um, our 10-year bond. Yeah. <laughs> our 10-year bond is still um, comfortably being paid with the savings that we, that we net from having the energy efficient equipment. The, you know, I plot it all out. We had a nice dip right in 2012 when we did it, and we are starting to creep back up, but we are still well below where we were spending Good. three, four years ago. Yeah, that worked out beautifully for you guys. It's a really nice program. Nice Great budget, program. Amanda. I have no problem with it. Okay. Mr. Bean. No questions on your budget. You uh, provide amazing leadership for an amazing uh, operation <laughs> over there. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Waddell. Thank you. Uh, no questions on the budget. Um, I'm always amazed when I go by the library that it's always Cards. It's always oh, yeah. cards, which yeah. I think is phenomenal. I think that's great. No question. <coughs> periodicals. Are people mm -hmm. doing more periodicals online, or are people still coming in? It's a mix. And actually, the the service I was mentioning just recently added periodicals to it. So we do have um, downloadable magazines now as well. Um, magazines are interesting. We have a lot of folks who come and they browse it when they're in the building. And then the other thing that I've seen, uh, you know, we have like Home Beautiful or or, or things like that. People come and take six months' worth because they want to, like, plan out a new room in their house. Um, and there's some folks, really, for them, their reading for the week is going to be a couple of magazines. They're not going to sit through a whole book. So we do still have people coming and taking a few out. Interesting. Well, thank you. You, you do a great job. Thank you. Absolutely. I know that um, you certainly use uh, people love to go there and read the newspaper. Mm -hmm. The Hampton Union is a hot item there. I don't know how, Ma Max, I don't know how you're going to work in the future. Everyone's <laughs> going and getting the, your news for free. But I wait my turn when I go. And uh, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. It's always nice to go in there. You always feel great when you leave. Oh, good. Thank you. Well, the renovations it. are nice, too, Amanda. That thank worked you. very well. Glad that you think so. Have a nice evening on your way home tonight. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Moving.